He is one of the most powerful politicians in Washington, D.C., and he's from right here in South Dakota. Senator John Thune slowly climbed the ranks in the Republican Party after defeating Senate Majority Leader Tom Daschle back in 2004. Now he's the majority whip in the Senate, making him among the highest ranking Republican senators. In tonight's Eye on Kettle Land, we pay a visit to our nation's capital to see how the whip spends his day on Capitol Hill. Senator John Thune rarely has any downtime when he's in Washington, D.C. Not around here much. Um, you know, I, if I have free time, it's probably earlier in the morning, and that's when I get up and kind of hit the trail, take a run, or hit the gym. We caught up with Senator Thune at his Dirksen office around 9 o'clock in the morning. It was a brief meeting because, as a member of the Tax Writing Senate Finance Committee, he had to speak on the Senate floor on how tax reform has benefited the American people. Thune has introduced six tax reform bills this year. Hey guys, how's it going? At 10 a.m., he rushed back to his Dirksen office to meet with South Dakota soybean growers. At 10.30, Thune had to attend his finance committee hearing. This bill will also then quickly darted out of there to attend a commerce committee hearing. Then it was back to the Senate floor to cast three votes on different pieces of legislation. At 11 a.m., he stopped by the Capitol steps to meet and greet students from Brandon Valley High School who were in D.C. as part of an education program and sightseeing tour. Thune says these types of visits take time out of his busy schedule, but he likes doing it. As you can tell, we typically, any given day, particularly certain times of the year, have just tons of groups from South Dakota, and so we're sometimes every 15 minutes or so. At 11.30, we got a chance to sit down with Thune and ask him some questions about his new role as the Senate Majority Whip. Well, the whip is you want to work with the leader and the leadership team um, to move your agenda. And so you know, on any given day, it's taking, um, you know, whatever we're putting on the floor, whether it's legislation, nominations. Uh, we've done a lot of judicial nominations. That's been a big sort of, I think, legacy issue for the Republican Senate. Um, but it's trying to get the vote. I mean, it's basically trying to win the vote. And uh, sometimes uh, that can be easy. A lot. Sometimes you have big bipartisan majorities for per certain bills or um, nominations, and then sometimes it's a, it's a heavy lift. I asked the senator about President Trump. I get a chance, obviously, to work with him quite a bit, and um, he's doing a lot of the right things. I mean, I, I believe in his agenda when it comes to judges. Uh, the economy is in a great place. I mean, you know, 50-year lows when it comes to unemployment, wages are up, growth's up, and uh, national security, uh, for the most part, I think he's doing the right things to keep America safe in what is a very dangerous world. So a lot of policy stuff I agree with him on. But he doesn't always agree with the way the president goes about handling certain issues. His use of social media creates a lot of interesting distractions for us. We spend a lot of time up here answering questions from the media about whatever the president's latest tweet was. So I'd like to see him dial that down. I've said that before. But, you know, he's the president. And I always tell people, and I, you know, in South Dakota, it's very divided on him. They love him or they hate him, and there isn't a lot in between. And when people come up to me who don't like him and say, you know, how can you work with this guy? And I just tell them, look, 62% of the people in South Dakota voted for him. And my job is to work with the president where I can. And I think there are a lot of the things that he's doing, doing that are the right things for South Dakota. Speaking of the presidency, because his name has been brought up numerous times in the past, I asked Thune if he'll ever run for president. Don't anticipate that happening. I respect the people who want to run. It's a heavy... Uh, commitment and obviously these days takes an enormous amount of money and um, so but no I got my my work cut out for me here and I think I have a voice for the people of South Dakota and ultimately for me at least that's kind of in the end how you all you want to be evaluated is did you do a good job representing your state and um, so I, I want to keep doing the best I can here. Like the president Thune has a lot of security with him every day while here in Washington and in South Dakota, which he says takes him getting used to because he wants to be accessible when meeting with constituents. When Senator Thune is here in the Capitol, he doesn't have to walk far to get to his office. That's because the whip has an office in the Capitol building not far from the Senate chambers. It's an ornate office. It's been here um, since basically the Civil War and uh, a lot of interesting occupants over the years.
like John F. Kennedy, who had asked the leadership for a room near the Senate chambers so he could fulfill his Senate duties while running for president. Thune says his two offices in Washington allow him to work more efficiently in a short amount of time. I'm usually busy, usually here in the office until uh, 8 or 9 o'clock at night, and then um, usually take stuff home with me to work on when I get home. So, But that's kind of what I've signed up for, and actually it works for me, because my wife and family are back in South Dakota, so when I'm here, I, you know, I just try and make the most of it and get as much done as I can in the day. Days that he says are always dedicated to the people in his home state. You know, what we do here is all about them, and um, I don't forget that, and, uh, and hopefully uh, they don't either. To learn more about the position of the whip and its history, go to Kelloland.com original section where we have an interactive story about it. He's a busy guy. He is very busy. I had a hard time keeping up with him. Well, the Minnesota Vikings opened pre